everyone. Good evening. And welcome to the inaugural Refinicon. It's really awesome to have you all here at our first event. Um, I like to talk, um, but I'm actually going to try to just be your MC and your host for tonight and introduce all of our great speakers. So my name is Raj Shutt, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of BrainTank. We're the company and team behind Grafana. Uh, before we kick things off, I'd just like to say two quick thanks. Uh, first of all, big thanks to an early supporter of Grafana, Squarespace. Not only have they supported Grafana for uh, almost since the project started, but uh, they've been a corporate sponsor. Uh, they're helping us put on this event. So uh, you know, please give a big thanks to Franca and Squarespace. And the second thanks I wanted to say is actually to all of you guys and girls. Um, you know, not just for coming, uh, but for being part of our community. I spent a lot of time myself traveling uh, over the last year, meeting with a lot of Grafana users, um, you know, as part of the research for Rangtank. And what's been most impressive to me is understanding the scope of the collaboration and the feedback and the pull requests and the bug, re bug reports that we get from all of you guys. It really helps us make better software, so thanks to all of you guys. Thank you so much. So anyway, to kick it off, I'd like to introduce you to my co-founder, my friend, and my co-conspirator in democratizing metrics, also the creator of Grafana, Torpel Odegaard. Hi. How are you doing? Are you doing fine? Sorry for, for uh, being 30 minutes late, but uh, so uh, let's see, can we switch? Uh, there we go. There we go. So uh, this is a very advanced slide deck using uh, a very advanced software. Uh, I'm not sure if you recognize it. Uh, uh, so uh, yeah, uh, welcome to the very first Grafornicon and um, thank you all for uh, for being here. Uh, I'm not going to go, I had planned to delve deeper into the thank you, but I think uh, Rosh, uh, you did it so well, so I'm not going to reiterate, but uh, I stand for all the thanks that you gave out. Uh, um. So Grafanacon, I, I just want to look at this graphic. I really like this. Uh, it's available as stickers. You will get everyone, when you leave, you should uh, take this. Uh, it's going to contain stickers. It's going to contain the posters uh, that you see when you came in. Uh, yeah, I really like this graphic. It's designed by a guy called Trent, uh, Trent White. That's his name. Yeah, uh, I had a moment of hesitation there. <laughs> uh, no, he's a great guy at Rain Tank. Uh, um, he's put a lot of work into getting this conference going as well. So a big thanks to him. Um, yeah, applause. <laughs> He, he designed this, he set up the, the, the site, the schedule, and uh, everything. He's also the, our art director, and he's been sort of designing or, uh, and directing the art for these posters, which really mean a lot to me. They sort of uh, emphasize a lot of what I think is important and why I built the Grafana. This concept of democ democratizing metrics, making it available to more people that may, might not sort of necessarily have access to time series databases or metrics in general and making it sort of accessible to everyone in an organization. It's something I really, really like that concept. Uh, and um, yeah, I wrote a blog post around sort of what this concept means, democratizing metrics. If you haven't read it, read it. Um, and I, <laughs> I really like this sort of the aesthetic here, the Soviet Union or some sort of 50s vibe, which is something you really associate, you really associate Soviet Union with democracy. No, maybe not. <laughs> Uh, but it's just uh, an awesome poster, uh, and uh, we have a new poster that is also really, really resonates with with, uh, with me, and it's sort of the design philosophy in philosophy in how I started uh, when I started uh, developing Grafana, and it's, don't get in the way of the data. So I started from Kibana. If you have used Kibana, you might have noticed that I removed all the buttons from the panel. <laughs> so, because I, I just wanted a panel that was very simple and very elegant, with only a graph, with only a title, uh, so kind of creates other problems of sort of usability for first first users. But my, my main thing is don't get in the way of data and then solve the usability in other ways, which I'm gonna want to do later on. But first and most, don't get in the way of the data. So yeah. Um, uh, 
I'm just going to show you some uh, stats. Um, uh, Grafana, as an open source project, really thrives on active users. Uh, and um, Grafana has that in spades, and it's a, become a really popular project. And I just want to show you some stats. Uh, in Grafana 2.0, that was released in April, we added a, something like so a call home. You can disable it. It's a server reporting. Once 24 hours, Grafana will send you calendars or how many dashboards exist and what version. And it's really sort of fun stats. And it's public stats. You can see it's completely anonymous. And you can disable it, it's just uh, server reporting. And I, I, many disable it, or many have servers that don't have internet access. So this is just a small po portion uh, of the stats. But you can see sort of when Grafana 2.0 was released in April, and uh, how it's uh, now up to uh, 12,000 uh, servers running Grafana uh, that have uh, internet access and haven't disabled server reporting. And it's, don't disable it, because it's really useful. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's really useful to see what versions are running. So I know sort of how to plan for, um, for backward compatibility and upgrade scenarios. And so it's, it's super useful and fun stats. And it's, this uh, is all available, uh, stats is available on the Play Grafana site as well. So it's nothing we hide. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, just another fun stat, there are a total of uh, 120,000 dashboards in those uh, Grafana instances that are reporting. Uh, and uh, just some stats for sort of the last, uh, last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, I haven't been that active, so this is actually low stats because I've been traveling for the last couple of weeks. But there's just so much activity and creativity from the community in proposing uh, improvements to the project and just helping out with documentation and everything. So, yeah, super, super happy about that, and thank you all. Um, yeah, so Grafana.com. I This is just an intro talk. I just want to set the mood, uh, and I'm not going to be that uh, long at been talking about this. Uh, so we're going to have a fully packed schedule of really great speakers, uh, and I'm going to finish off later on with a demo of new, new things in Grafana 2.5. Um, so yeah. Uh, with that, I want to continue with the uh, schedule and introduce, or Raj is going to introduce our first speaker.